You never know what you're going to find out here. Yeah. It's a big old log. Yeah. Look, there's dolphin all around it. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that baby's been out here a long time. Don't want to hit that at night. You never know what you're going to find out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 rip your motors off. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let's get. Let's go see if there's some triple tail on it, though. I got shrimp. There you go. Yeah, we're in 20 feet of water, so we're up on top of the reef. That is one old log. It's waterlogged though, because that other end is not coming up at all. Yeah. It's cool though. I don't see any fish around it. If you found that out in 400, 800, 1,000 feet of water, there would be dolphin and wahoo all around it. There you go. That's the kind of stuff we're always looking for. Hope you guys are enjoying this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me, Cousin Jim. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. We're just headed offshore. How far are you at? Oh, no, I don't know. come right up in here. Yeah, I, I fish fairly short. So we're headed out offshore. I got Big Al from the neighborhood. I got Arthur Nally. We're, we're headed out gonna see if we can find some dolphin I gave you a quick preview of that big old log we saw on the reef good thing we didn't hit it that tear your that ruin your day tear your boat up <laughs> but we're we're getting out to about 150 feet of water now we just put the lines out we're gonna troll out yesterday we got a couple dolphin in the 200 foot range we're gonna head out and see what we can find Hope you guys like it. No, nope, it's off. No. What do you mean? It's off. What about the other rod that's got the fish on it? Which one? I don't know. One you one. guys missed them all? And please. All right, Al is on. We're out here trolling. We're in 420 feet of water. See, that's over. He's got a big fish on. Just about spooled him there. All right, that's one in. Arthur, let's get this other one in too. This is a nice fish. Don't know what it is yet. Uh -huh. All right. He's the drag. I hear the drag go off. Good job, Al. We got him. I told these guys if we got close to this storm that's out here, that there were going to be fish feeding in front of it. Al said, turn the boat. We're getting too close to the storm and the fish went off. So that it's working exactly like I was hoping. Now I'm just hoping we get this fish in here before the storm catches up with us. He's going down deep now. What you got there, Al? No visual yet. No Sorry. visual yet. All right. Big tuna. Is it a tuna? I'm not. Yeah. Nice blackfin. All right. Nice blackfin tuna in front of the rainstorm. And look what he hit, people. My favorite lure in the world, a Halloween. Bring him up. All right, there he is. Nice, nice little dolphin. Good job, Al. I'll open the hatch for you. All right, everybody. So we went trolling for about an hour. We trolled out to 400 feet. We picked up one little blackfin tuna. And now we just ran in here. We are in 41 feet of water. There's some fish down there on the bottom. The bottom's pretty rocky right here. We're sitting right on the edge of a 60 foot ledge. So it, it goes down to 60 feet. It doesn't go down to 100. So it's really a 20 foot ledge. And uh, we've got some chum going out the back. We're gonna get it started. There's the most weed we've seen all day right behind the boat now. We went out there looking for a weed line, try and find some dolphin. Just not today. Stop. All right, people, lots of people think this is a Spanish mackerel. 
but it is not. It is a Cerro mackerel. You see that gold lateral line on him? You see that gold lateral line? That makes him a Cerro mackerel. Very good sushi. He's going on ice right now. He's going on ice right now, and I'm gonna eat him at the cleaning station. A little soy sauce and wasabi. Right, Al's hooked up. I saw a Cerro mackerel come behind the boat, and Al hooked up immediately. That's what I think he's got. It's really toothy, so he's gotta try and keep the teeth out of it. Oh man, he's got a nice fish. Look at that thing fighting. Good job, Al. Good job. He is pulling some drag. There he goes. It's a good sized fish. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, oh, oh no. I bet no hook, no nothing. No nothing Got no. his teeth in it. Getting a bite. Look how intent he is. What you got for bait down there, Arthur? Yeah. Oh yeah, there. See the rod tip? Just oh, shake yeah. there. There you go. He's got him. He's got some action here. We got some action. What you got, buddy? It's coming. Whatever it is, it's coming. All right, good job, Arthur. What you got? Looking like a big old parrotfish. Only everybody thinks this is a parrotfish, but it is not. That right there is a pudding wife. A what? A pudding wife. No, they're turning sideways. They can really see them. Look at the teeth on this guy. Look how colorful he is. That's a pudding wine, people. A parrotfish has a beak, a pudding wine has teeth. Look at those chompers. They definitely mess you up. All right, Al is on again. It's a big one. Look at that. Thing. He's got his drag pretty doggone tight. Don't pop him off, Al. No, no, you're not in the rocks. I can see him on there. He's coming. He's coming now. You got him. You got him out. You got him out. Good job, buddy. It's a big fish, whatever it is. Yeah, it is. He's coming now. Good job, Al. He pulls Hang on. up. There he is. There he is. Big Whoa. mutton. Big mutton. Get the mat. Big mutton. Yeah. Look at the size of this mutton. That is a Key Largo mutton. Very, very nice fish, Al. How was that fight? That was a pretty good one. Got me down there on the pond, but it seemed like. Now you had you rocked up for a minute, but you got him out. Good oh, job. Oh, yeah. All right, Arthur's, Arthur's getting a bite. See if we can. There he is. Got him. It's hooked up. There you go. Looks All like right. a nice one. Looks like a nice fish. It's coming around. Did you miss one, Al? Oh, shit. Starting to Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It's on, folks. It's a big one. And he's got a big one. Look at the bend in his rod. Woo. He was peeling drag when he picked it up. I was fishing a live ballyhoo. I distressed him in the tail. And I think I got another big mutton. Hey, Al, would you grab the net? Yes, sir. So we don't have the same fiasco. Here he comes, folks. Look at the bend on that rod. And that's a heavy rod, too. 
get that rod bent. See if we can see. Yeah, another big monkey. Big monkey. Wow, look at the size of that one, dude. That is a monster. That yeah, it is. is a monster Kiwargo button. He's barely hooked. Yeah. Oh, Look at the size nice. of that baby. Circle hook right in the corner of the jaw, just like it's supposed to be. Uh -huh, and that was on a livey? That was on a livey. Holy smoly. I can get that whole fish in the screen I can, if, you, if you don't. Thank you very much. Are we getting sideways? Can. Yeah, hold them with your other hand. You got your other hand? Hold them up with the tail. There you go. That's a real holy. <laughs> Al just had a big hit. Arthur, would you lift the box? I'll throw him in. Did you miss him, Al? Yeah. Let's see what he looks like. Ooh. Al was on. What happened, Al? I don't know. I must have pulled. We got cut. And we got cut. We got cut. Oh, look at that's all curled up. Is that one of those Saros down there? Could be. Yeah. A little toothy. My bait got hit twice. I think I got it. Oh, feels like there might be a little way for it. Well, let's see what we got. He's still there. He got picked up. He's got teeth, little teeny teeth marks in the back end of him. Hell's on. Good job, Al. Al was just cutting up some tuna or bonita and throwing it in. Oh. Oh. oh, that's fast. What is that thing? I don't know, but I'm thinking. Another shark. We've caught more sharks in the last couple days. Here. Okay. Maybe. Be careful, don't let them bite you. All right, so this is an Atlantic sharp nose shark. You can keep one, but this isn't the one. Here he goes. <laughs> 